Dynamic balance was developed by Mark Rabert, who founded the MIT Leg Laboratory in the 1980s. To keep this simple, he started with one-legged robots. So we built one-legged machines. They actually hop instead of walk. And uh, we found that the control of these machines wasn't really too difficult. The robot had sensors which measured its motion and had a computer brain which used this information to reposition the leg between hops. The computer calculated where the legs should move to to keep it balanced. Like all Raybert's dynamic robots, they had to keep moving to stay on their feet. His dynamic robots performed amazing feats. This robot is called Spring Flamingo. It doesn't need to keep hopping or jumping to stop itself falling over. It walks by feel. Sensors in its ankles tell how to angle its feet to maintain balance. Spring Flamingo was developed by Gil Pratt, the present head of the Leg Laboratory. Have really incorporated their vision systems or their navigation systems very tightly into the control loop for locomotion. And what we're trying to do with our robot is very similar to the way that a hiker in the woods uh, tends to walk, which is that the hiker doesn't look at his or her toes all the time, but rather just sort of trusts their feet to do the right thing. Spring Flamingo uses another idea borrowed from nature, tendons. The motors are located above the legs and power is transferred down wire tendons. Some robots were designed to go one step further. The first question that needs to be answered is just how many legs should a robot have?